Hi, this is Jitain, Senior Consultant as Genom Software. We are going to watch Jewelry Billing Software demo. This is the login screen. Uh, if you are a first time, uh, you can click a Get License key to get uh, license uh, renewal and then click login. This is the screen, what looks like. Now in a menu, you can basically go to stock where you can get the add stock option and then stock list in stock list you can get a list of all the stocks and the column list you can choose from the right show height columns for example if you don't want to show quantity on our right hand side you can uncheck is active so that quantity will not be part of your stock on the left side you can see that uh, basically the entries can be made I have created gold locket small and saved it in the stock list it will get reflected with ID 219 now stock group can be created at runtime and this time you can also add uh, as per your list and the unit of stock in app you can go to person profile and then create customer here customers are created and under sundry data so I have created customer 1 customer 2 then employee so I'm creating employee 1 sorry employee I saved it and then to employee I can basically give access in for example I want uh, my employee to view and create estimate only so when employee will log in then will only be in position to see estimate I can create a dealer under sundry creators uh, as a DLR1 and DLR2 so that whenever I will do ornament purchase I can do from dealer manufacturer I can create MFG1 and MFG2 for a demo purpose so that whenever I want to assign customer order I can assign to manufacturer I go to bill book and select voucher as purchase so that I can purchase some gold from dealer 1 T is type code 1-1 created then I clicked F3 on item name selected gold fine stamp I selected fine quantity 1 gross weight 100 and tonnage 100 rate 3000 and I got I had to pay 3 lakh to dealer 1 I chose bank mode and reference number I click save and closed when I click voucher that purchase 3 lakh is reflected there I selected sales customer 1 then yeah I can use a barcode system here because I know 215 is basically gold ring I enter that then touch fine and the rate and I clicked save as soon as I save the amount is basically modified because the GST is uh, calculated here automatically you have option to basically choose change the GST percent or add any other tax actually as per your requirement you can do that in the leisure section here I have flexibility to basically uh, receive amount in multiple modes actually like cash and bank then uh, the amount is reflected in the voucher screen I can basically go to sales order which is nothing but customer order customer 1 I can get order for this specific ID and touch fine rate I, I, I have basically fixed the rate actually there is an option to fix our variable and then I saved it uh, just for a demo purpose actually there is a provision that I can basically get the receipt or the metal from customer actually 
just for demo purpose i created second customer order in similar way so i created two orders basically here in vouchers now i want to issue these orders to kariger actually i clicked a kariger icon actually i i can see mfg1 mfg2 two, two karigers i selected mfg1 and assigned customer one order to mfg1 i clicked control and that is new and selected mfg2 i want to assign customer to order to mfg2 now i clicked control k icon i can see mfg1 i click there on the bottom now i can see that i have i want to receive this now so i waste i have entered 5% so find received showing 9.7 but i did not give any metal to kariger so i am going to basically make a metal payment which is a fine gold of 10 gram to manufacturer one so i can see in kariger list that 10 gram is paid and 9.7 received that is 0.3 is balance for manufacturer one then I can come back to sales actually because I have received customer one order now from Karikar one I can see it here I just add to voucher and it will get saved I'll just change the net weight actually automatically uh, it will get reflected to 10 actually in our next version then I can uh, modify labor actually uh, while at the time of delivery and save it it will uh, basically ask for the receipt actually I can choose uh, bank or other options and I, I can also modify the mode of receipt and uh, reference number actually so that it will get reflected in the reports accordingly so customer one order is delivered and the uh, voucher amounts are reflected for that specific day accordingly I can even check the balance sheet at runtime and immediately it can reflect me uh, the cash in hand bank accounts details actually and I can take a look closely on at the monthly level also and I can even go to a detail level and see the details in ledgers basically I can manage a lot of ledgers like bank accounts I can add a new bank account 